Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Sparkle and Splatter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really easy paper plate spider web, complete with a spider living on the web as well. This is a really easy project. It's fun for Halloween parties, a class project, an at-home art project, and it only requires a minimum amount of supplies. And you can make one or several, and it's really cute to hang around the house as well for your Halloween decor. So for this project, you're going to need some paper plates. I chose some black paper plates because I'll be using white yarn and it really shows it off like a real spider web. And some white yarn. Now I have this, this is Red Heart Super Saver. I got this at the craft store. This is a really inexpensive yarn, um, an acrylic yarn, and you can get lots of it for not a whole lot. And you'll need a single hole punch a pair of scissors, some tape, you can use scotch tape like this or um, some masking tape will work just as nice. And then you'll need some spider rings. Now these have uh, a little space here so when we're finished we can just kind of clip them right on. But um, if, if they don't have that space we can cut that as well and that's very easy to do. These are kind of like Halloween colors. They also have glow in the dark ones and they make black ones so they look uh, more like real spiders. So whatever you like for your spiders. I also saw at the craft store some larger kind of glittery spiders and those would be really nice too. So let's get started. To begin our spider web, we need to punch some holes around the edge because we're going to be lacing the yarn and it's going to create our web. So what we will want to do is grab your um, hole punch and begin punching holes around the edge. Now this has a rim on it so you might need to kind of work your hole punch into the, the edge there. Um, and see how I'm doing? I did one, now I'm doing one across from that. Now turn it and then just go and do the same thing. So you'll have like a plus sign to begin. Now you can put some holes in between the holes that you've just created. And they'll be fairly evenly spaced. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, especially if kids are doing this. Um, it's gonna be a crisscrossed spider web, so it doesn't have to be perfectly spaced. Okay, so once you have your holes punched, now I've done eight, you can do a few more if you like. You're going to get your yarn. Now I have pre-cut a piece of yarn that's about two yards long. All I did was I took it in one hand, I took the end in one hand and I opened up my arms as far as they would go and then I opened up my arms as far as they would go and it, it's about two, two yards or so, give or take. So then what you want to do is take one of the ends and run it into any of the holes and then get your tape and tape the yarn to the back. Now this is a good opportunity for them to, for kids to write their name on the back before we get more involved in the project. So they can write their names on it ahead of time or even before you punch the holes. So then locate the other end and we're just going to start lacing up these holes with this yarn. Okay? So we're gonna go across from where the yarn is coming out up here and we're gonna go back down and then just pull it all the way through. It's a little bit more pulling in the beginning when you have some length to your yarn. Now, instead of going around, we're gonna come back over top here and we're gonna make a crisscross, okay? So you can go in any of these other holes. I'm just going to just keep criss crisscrossing with our yarn and then come back over top, see? And we're just going to keep doing that until basically we run out of yarn. So you can use more yarn if you want your spider web to be more ornate. Or you can, um, if it's very young kids and they don't have the patience to do too many passes with the yarn, you can cut your yarn a little bit shorter. Maybe try a yard. Okay? So then we can come back across here and we're just going to be doing this around the entire plate. And it's already starting to look like a spider web. And this is a very quick project. Um, and again, for really young kids, they might need a little bit of help with this project. Okay, so we're just going to keep crisscrossing all the way around our spider web. And already our yarn is getting a little bit shorter. 
and it's looking very much like a spider web. And using, you could use a Halloween plate, you could do um, purple or orange, like these colors of our spiders over here, um, to make it look like that. Um, I chose to do kind of like a night sky, like a spooky night sky with a, a white spider web. Okay, so we're just coming back around our web here, and our yarn is getting shorter. Okay, back through, and as you make your, your passes with the yarn, just make sure you're filling up the whole area of the plate so that there isn't like an empty spot in your on your plate. Okay, and then you're just gonna keep doing this until the yarn is too short to make another pass, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, let's go in here so we can have a, a string on that. So I don't think my yarn is quite long enough to do, well, I think we can do one more. Let's go in one of those last holes there. Okay, so it looks very much like a spider web at this point, and my yarn is pretty short. So what I'm gonna do is bring the yarn back to the back of the plate, grab my tape, and pull it pretty snug, not too tight. You don't wanna rip the holes or anything. And then you can cut your yarn short if needed. And now we have our spider web. So then what you'll wanna do is grab any of your spiders, or you can do multiple spiders. You can have a whole little family of spiders living on here. And we're just gonna hook the ring right onto one of the pieces of yarn, okay? So I'm gonna put a couple on mine, just like that. Now, you can take your scissors. If you don't have a gap here to clip it, you can just easily cut it with your scissors. It's a very kind of flimsy plastic, okay? And if you use the glow-in-the-dark spiders, these happen to not be glow-in-the-dark spiders, but um, when you turn the lights out, it'll make a spooky little decoration as well, okay? So that is how you make the uh, paper plate spider web. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Sparkle and Splatter video updates. Thanks again.